Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to style your picture just like this in Lightroom and then I'm going to show you how to do some minor adjustments to the picture in Photoshop. Alright, so without any further ado, let's start. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to import pictures to Lightroom because I'm really sure that there's plenty of tutorials out there how to do that. The aim of this is basically to show you how to style uh, this image. Okay guys, so let's start with the picture. So as you can see, I've already imported the picture. I have here another picture, which is the final edit. Uh, basically, I've done it before. I've got uh, some presets, which soon I'm going to release them. I'm going to try to get this kind of look again. Okay, so what I do, uh, as we can see here, the face mask, I would like it to be brighter, like the lights. There we go. So I'm just going to increase that to 100%. And then we can see here that basically the background is really dark in a way. I mean, even though we can see some lights that they're kind of bright, I want to increase that and reveal more of the background. So let's do this. Now, the whites, uh, maybe we could try to give them a bit more intensity. There we go. That's it. Now, uh, shadows, let's reveal a bit more of the blacks. Okay, that's it. Now, let's play with the curve. The curve, basically, if you guys uh, don't know, uh, basically here we can have all the blacks, like the pure, pure blacks. Here at the top we have the pure whites. Here in the middle we have the highlights between, this is basically the mid-tones in the middle. So, uh, whites, mid-tones, blacks. Then in between these dots, like here and here, we have here we have the shadows and here we have the highlights and here mid-tones. So what I like doing myself is basically kind of like put some dots on there and now we're going to bump the whites so we can have them a bit more light. There we go. And then the whites too. There we go. And now what I'm going to try to do it's just the mid-tones, make them a bit darker. That's it and then try to reveal a bit more of the background that's it something like that okay now if we want to have like a really accurate uh, white balance usually what we'll do is click on this icon here and then go to the whitest point onto the picture let's go maybe here and then apparently i'm not sure if you can see the difference there we go there's like a tiny bump uh, of light basically and it changes a bit but what i want to do is make it be more kind of bluish in a way or actually no purplish there we go just because the actual the original lights of this uh, they were a bit purple so i just want to kind of like match that let's go here so we want to remove maybe the red parts actually no we're going to increase them because another one here we can see that like, the reds they're really increased and then this is kind of like bluish in a way uh, okay so we're gonna play with this a tiny bit so we can see what we can get i'm gonna actually go to the purples i'm gonna try to decrease this there we go it's too intense so basically the saturation removes the intensity of the color and then here uh, the luminance is how bright the color is i'm gonna make it a bit more brighter and then i'm gonna try to go towards the blue color basically the purple now this is kind of like the magenta in a way now uh oranges i'm gonna remove the oranges because it's too orange the picture so we're gonna remove them and then we're gonna make them a bit brighter outside and try to get them towards magenta in a way no they're greenish in a way we have some yellows on there too so i'm gonna remove them too but I don't like the yellows and then we're trying to make it kind of bluish. There we go. Like you just need to kind of like play with this settings in a way and kind of like try to think about what colors you're actually targeting. Because what I'm going to do while I did another one is basically kind of like get like a rough edit. And then after that, what we do is go export the picture and then import it again and try to re-edit it. So now we can see that uh, we got kind of there. We still need to give you this effect in a way. Uh, so to do that, we're going to export this. And we, before we do that, we can see from where we got to here now. Kind of like getting there now. Okay, let's import this. So now we want to make the background bluish. There we go. Let's do that a tiny bit. But we don't want this to be that purplish. So we're going to go to the purple and remove the purple from there. And now go to the blue, increase the blues. There we go. It's kind of like looking similar in a way. 
and I can tell from the disc to to be darker too, so it's not as bright. You know, I lower a bit of exposure. There we go. So actually, I think it's looking much better than the original one, which is here. Uh, it's a tiny bit too saturated, so it's not too saturated. I think it's too vibrant. So what we do need to do now, um, as you can tell here, it's all dark in here, and I remove I think under some of the reflections. So to do that, what I do is I go here and then I say edit in Photoshop. Okay, now that we have Photoshop open, uh, we're just gonna go here and we select, let's say the last of two years. So we're just gonna go like that, select around it. And it's actually really easy to be honest. And it actually does change the way you see this picture. And then we just select, uh, instead of content aware, we select, uh, where is it? Uh, not white, uh, color. And we just choose this kind of color over here, okay. Then we just press OK and boom. You can tell here we went overboard, so we can just select again. Let's say we stay within what we need to do. Oh, couldn't see that. There you go. So let's try from here. Now, I don't like this, so what I'm going to do is select it just like that, and then fill, and then we go to uh, where is it? Content aware. And easy, it's gone. If we don't like these two things here, which makes it too shiny, same thing, select that, and then we press enter, okay. And you see here, we don't like these lights, and then just kind of like light shining on it, boom, gone. And I think this kind of looks good. What we need to do now is literally press command or control S, it saves. Okay, guys, so it has saved now, so we just go ahead and close Photoshop, and now. Uh, we should be able to see our picture edited. Uh, this is the one we just edited now. Uh, maybe let's try to make it be more faded. So let's go into here. So we click in the number two. We can get inside and see the before and after what we did. And now what I'm going to try to do is again kind of make it more faded if I can. So I think it's too bright. I'm going to make it. There we go fade a bit more so this is before this is after and then here we can see the before and after and then if you want to see like the original one we can just click escape oh this is another one <laughs> i think it's this one look nope. yeah so this is the before this is the after and then this is what we did and then if you want to go back and go to this one think I think this is the one we just edited. So yeah, uh, maybe we could try to make it more bluish. There we go. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos like this. Also, if you're interested into the presets, I will be dropping them soon. I'm just trying kinda of like to get them and kinda of name them and optimize them. Uh, another thing that I want to mention is that I did a mistake by um, editing first the picture and then recording this video. Uh, just because it comes in a way unnatural but at least i kind of tried to imitate the look that i did originally with my presets but if you do want to get the same look uh, in a way as basically my picture in case you do the same kind of like photography style i will soon drop these presets and yeah i hope you enjoy the video and if so uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any of these videos and at the same time uh, remember to give it a like because the lady algorithm is gonna like me and i think that's pretty much it i will see you in the next video bye bye